Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris won third place in a track meet and mistakenly thinks his ribbon is something to brag about. Slater shows up with a real trophy for winning a wrestling championship, stealing Zach's thunder, and finally giving Kelly a suitor worthy of her Kelly hugs. Zach deals with this like a man. Just kidding, he turns into a total fucking psycho. After a trophy ceremony where Zach puts his dumb ribbon in the trash where it belongs, Zach meets Slater's father in the hall. Slater's dad is looking for Principal Belding, so Zach points him in the opposite direction of his office. Why? Because Zach got a great idea. That idea? Cramming his best friend into the principal's filing cabinet to eavesdrop on a private conversation so he can maybe use that information for personal gain. Papa Slater tells Belding he's transferring to Hawaii and taking Slater with him. Belding calls in Slater, who tells his dad he's made great friends at Bayside and isn't sure if he can leave them. Slater's dad tells him he can decide if they move. Screech, who is unable to stand after Zach left him trapped in a filing cabinet, breaks the news. He adds that if Slater stays at Bayside, Zach can consider himself a dead man with Kelly. This gives Zach another great idea. Then he abandons his injured friend for the second time in one day, this time on a bathroom floor. Zach's new great idea? He tells the gang Slater is dying of a rare disease. It's called Mumbio Quadrilation Osis. That definitely doesn't sound made up, and the only possible cure is a clinic in Hawaii. But because Slater's a dumb jock who just wants to hang out with his friends, the only way he'll go is if everyone is super mean to him in what might be his final days on Earth. Zach begins his gaslighting campaign by telling the gang that symptoms of Slater's condition include memory loss, itching, and sneezing. Zach asks Slater why he wasn't in the weight room last period when they made plans to be in the weight room last period. Slater doesn't remember making these plans because they never made these plans. This causes his friends to burst into tears, much to Zach's delight. Zach shoves an armful of pepper up Slater's nose, making him sneeze. Then he mercilessly dumps Screech's beloved ant farm down Slater's shirt, making him look like he just smoked crack. Having adequately terrified the gang into believing Slater is on his deathbed, they go along with Zack's plan to treat him like dog shit so he'll want to move to Hawaii. They say super mean stuff to a friend they think is terminally ill, which is traumatic for all parties involved. Then Zack casually reveals Slater's prize trophy has been stolen. Zack's sadistic game of human chess works, and Slater tells the gang, I'm moving to Hawaii. Then Kelly drops this bomb. I'm going with him. Whoops, bet you didn't see that one coming, Zach. Slater asks why she wants to go, and Kelly says Zach told her he's dying. Slater goes along with it in the hopes of teaching Zach a much-deserved lesson. Slater tells Zach he changed his mind about Hawaii, but for some reason needs Zach to talk to his dad, who is already committed. Slater's dad agrees to help teach Zach a lesson, and he finally confesses, after being violently terrorized and threatened by a live grenade. Meanwhile, the gang is throwing Slater a going-away party, which Zach crashes to return the trophy he stole. Slater reveals he wasn't sick and was playing along to teach Zach a lesson, but because he was forced to stoop to Zach's level, the friends he picked over Hawaii are disgusted and turn their backs on him. Slater shows remorse, but Zach assures him it's fine and they'll get over it, because they always do, because he always does shit like this. Let's review. Zach Morris crammed his best friend in a filing cabinet, causing potentially permanent spinal damage, convinced the gang Slater was dying so they'd be dicks to him, to make him move to Hawaii so he could eliminate his clearly superior competition for dating Kelly, and didn't learn any lessons from any of it, Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash! <laughs>